going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I got someone super special, uh, Spencer who is a ClickFunnels promoter um, and he does a lot of SEO, so SEO stuff so I figured I would get him on here and have him talk about his dream car that he won. <laughs> um, no, but oh, not <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, no. Uh, Spencer's a really cool guy, and um, I really wanted to bring him on here. So, Spencer, what's going on, man? Uh, life's just really good right now. Like you said, got the dream car actually just a few months ago, and uh, just a lot of good things happen right now. So, yeah. So, if if a lot of people may not know what the dream car is, can you kind of give us a little? First of all, can you give us a little introduction of who you are, and then kind of segue into like the dream car and like talk about that. I guess a little bit. Yeah, so I'm actually a full-time affiliate marketer. So I just quit my job a few months ago, and, and pretty much all I do now is I promote other companies' products. Um, so I have an audience. I have a YouTube audience and a couple other places um, where I have a large audience. I promote other companies' products, and uh, and then those companies pay me. So it works really well. Um, they're really good products, and, and everyone's happy in the end. Uh, so most recently, and like kind of probably my big flagship product that I promote is ClickFunnels, uh, which which a lot of us are doing because it's not only a great product, but they have a great program for affiliates. Right. So uh, if you get 100 active users on ClickFunnels uh, that have you know signed up through you, your referral, you end up, uh, they, they buy you your dream car. So any car up to $500 a month that you want. Um, and so my car was very different than everyone else's. I got like a sweet jacked up Toyota 4Runner. Um, <laughs> most people get like Ferraris or Corvettes, but right. uh, Whatever your dream car is, they'll buy it. So it's a super cool program. That's in addition to the money they pay you. Um, it's just kind of a little side bonus. Yeah, exactly. So um, did you know about ClickFunnels like, when it first started, or did you kind of like get into it? Because like, they've only been around for like three years, so I'm trying to like, timeline. <laughs> when did you hear about ClickFunnels, and like when did you really start actively promoting it? Yeah, so I heard about it uh, last February. I was working like a regular job and then we had a consultant come in and he was like, you guys need ClickFunnels. So we signed up for ClickFunnels and they like assigned it to me. So I was like, I better figure it out. So I started like figuring it out, you know, and then somewhere in there they launched, uh, remember, were you there during the Expert Secrets contest? Were you like part of it then? Uh, yeah, I was part of it then, yeah. Yeah, so they had like a little contest going on and stuff and I was like, oh, this is super cool and, and I'd already been like reading, like trying affiliate marketing for like a year um, and like kind of little successes but not really much at all. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna really push this hard, and, and that was kind of when I, I I did really good during that contest, and I was like, holy cow, like people love this. Right. You just gotta like, you just gotta get people into it, and, and ClickFunnels will do the rest. Exactly. So it's interesting that you said that your job kind of brought ClickFunnels to you, and then you left your job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not happy about that. But <laughs> so you're probably like, yeah, I'm, I'm promoting ClickFunnels full time now. Uh, I'm leaving. Yeah, they're like, what? Click <laughs> That's really funny, no. Um, so, how do you promote ClickFunnels? Like, do you do a lot of paid stuff? Because I know, like, some people are doing a lot of paid, and then some people do blogs and SEO, etc. So, what's yeah. your main technique? It, it, it's kind of in the middle of morphing, actually. So, in the very beginning, um, I had a YouTube channel that uh, had a lot of subscribers, and I, I pushed it through YouTube for a while, and then... The first channel actually ended up, um, I did some, like, I was, like, testing out some shady tactics, and I lost the channel, uh, so that sucked. I had a lot of, I had a lot of subscribers, and I'd gotten, like, 75 affiliates already through that channel. Wow. Um, so I re-uploaded them to my new channel, but it's kind of not where it used to be, you know? Right. Um, so then I moved on to AdWords, and I was probably, like, the first affiliate to, like, really, like, really go into AdWords, um, like, all in, and yeah. I was, like, just crushing it. Like, there was, like, no one else out there on AdWords, and it was just, like dump in money and more comes out, you know? Right. Um, and then, like, probably the last, like, four to five months, then, like, everyone's kind of piled into AdWords and suddenly the costs are spiking everywhere and um, it's a lot harder to kind of make a buck on AdWords. So now I'm switching to, <laughs> again, um, kind of back to YouTube, but also solo ads, if you've talked about that, and Instagram. So yeah. I'm kind of all over, you know, I kind of just, as life changes, I change strategy. Yeah, exactly. I think that's very important to kind of just don't get stagnant, be dynamic yeah. with your, your marketing capabilities. Even if that means like failing at first, because I feel like a lot of people are scared to fail and lose money, but I think that's part of like yeah. the learning process. Like if you lose like a hundred bucks learning AdWords, then you're going to be better at it, right? Oh, I lost um, so much money that first year, like before I 
Can I click funnels? It was uh, nothing worked. Right. Like, a year and a half. It was just like negative every day. <laughs> That's crazy. It's funny you say that because um, I, I was trying out Bing and Bing was working pretty well. Like I, I don't really do PPC that much. Um, and PPC stands for uh, pay per click if you don't know. Uh, but I noticed that the prices are going up because a lot of people like Dan and Catlin are, and started talking about PPC. <laughs> so now people are like on Bing. <laughs> now people are on Bing doing PPC, and I'm just like, oh god, come on. Yeah, it, it got. I mean, it's it, it went up. There, when I first first started, I was getting like signups like that first week or two for like ten bucks a click yeah. or ten bucks a, a trial. Right. You know, and so then it's just like dump money into it, dump money into it. Yeah. Um, and then that you know that's like ten x or something over the past six to eight months. Um, right. So it's what it is. Yeah, it totally is. Um, so now like that you have this dream car and I, I, I assume that you're trying to get more people underneath you because it's just more money. Um, but you know, you know, they talked about making another level after a car of a house. They buy you a house. <laughs> oh, did they? That's insane. I didn't know yeah. That. So, <laughs> that's, that's really crazy. I mean, there are people who are probably way above 200. Um, yeah. 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 So I guess they would be. And, con and uh, contender for that. Um, so now, did you ever see yourself being like an affiliate marketer, or like not till I was? No. <laughs> yeah. Did you like like? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just trying to think back. Like, I mean, I've, I've kind of written this, this whole story out. Like, it was like four years ago that I even heard like passive income existed. You know, yeah. like I was in the same trail as everybody else. Like in the middle of college. Like I don't really like this. Right. And then you read a book, or you hear you hear someone talk about it, and you're like, "What? Like, yeah. why does why do people work their whole lives when there's this path? You know?" And so, right. and then and then I could see it, like, "Holy cow, that's my path!" You know? Right. Exactly. Did you ever like flip flop? Like, did you try different things, or just like this is the one thing that you stuck to? Oh yeah, like I had stocks and blogs, lost a ton of money on the stock market. <laughs> and, uh, I probably like tried everything. I had a little Shopify store that sucked. Uh, <laughs> that you did well at. Like I've, I've kind of pitter pattered on everything, and then right. you know, like suddenly affiliate marketing was working, so everything went into that. Right. Yeah. Totally. I get that. I feel like in in, in the IM world where we're at, it's like a lot of shiny objects. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I get to I I I, I fall for it all day long. Um, but it's just cool to kind of like focus on one thing and then see that one thing just like blossom into yeah. something amazing. You know. Yeah. I feel like. Anything can work. Almost anyone, like system, can work. But like, what can't work is like pitter pattering through the system. You know? right. Like pick one, and then most of them have something that'll work. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So let's go back to AdWords really quickly. So it's something that I feel is something that a lot of people don't talk about. Do you mm -hmm. have any strategies for people who may want to get into it, even though it might be expensive? But like someone who just wants to try it out, you know, get their feet wet a little bit. What? suggestions or strategies would you recommend to that person yeah so the first one is everyone's probably focused on like the same 40 keywords yeah. so I'm still doing well on AdWords but like um, it's really hard for like those primary keywords yeah. um, and because I've been in it long enough I can still kind of be in the game for those primary ones but for a new user branch out there's you know there's like 500 different ways people are searching click funnels every day right um, you know not everyone's just typing in click funnels or click funnels affiliate they're typing in like how do I get started with ClickFunnels or right. something like that? So you can you, you find little ways to target keywords like that, um, and and your bid you can afford it a lot better, right? The the yeah. bids for those are a lot less than kind of the primary keywords where everybody's bidding and it's an auction. Right. So I'd say focus on that, and then the second thing that I started to do, and I can't guarantee this will work because I just like the past like month or so I've been diving into this, is you don't have to go for people looking for ClickFunnels. You can go for people looking. For problems that ClickFunnels solves, so you know ClickFunnels solves all kinds of problems with like lead generation and uh, increasing your your uh, uh, conversion rates and things like that. So you can find people looking for stuff like that and bring them into the ClickFunnels world through AdWords, right? Uh, or YouTube or anything you want. Right. But but that's kind of like another route to take where it can be a lot cheaper than like shooting straight at the ClickFunnels keyword. Yeah, definitely. I I was gonna play around with like doing like for example lead pages and kind of. So if someone yeah. types in lead pages, then the first thing would be like ClickFunnels, and then someone would be like, well, wait, what's ClickFunnels? And then, boom. 
Um, yeah, so he, he just does that to click funnels. So. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So why not? We why can't we do it to them um, and do it for other pages as well? So I'm probably gonna think about doing that. Don't take my idea, guys. Well, now it's live. We're <laughs> gonna start taking my idea. Um, but yeah, no, that, that, that's a great that's a great suggestion. Uh, so I heard you have a course. Is that true? I do, I do. <laughs> um, so probably like eight months into ClickFunnels, at that point I'd probably found like five or six things that had started to work for me. Um, and people kept like asking me for coaching, and I was like, I don't have time to coach. You know, I still had a job and stuff at that point. And I was like, I can't coach everybody. So yeah. that's kind of where like, oh, I'll put it, I'll just make a course. It'll be a lot easier right. to, Absolutely. to just one off and give it to people. Absolutely. So um, when you were creating that course, did you did you have the dream car already at that point when you were creating it or no? When I was creating, no. I mean, somewhere in there I won it. So like I created like first it was just like a small one. I was selling for like ninety nine bucks, and it was kind of like a like get started thing, you know. Yeah. Um, and then I just started to add as like things worked, and as I had time, just kept building it out more and more, and the price started to go up. And then somewhere in there, the, the car happened. Yeah. The thing about that is like that's that's if you are starting a course, I I, rec I recommend. I don't know if you agree with this, but I recommend starting out like a cheaper price and then build it up and then leverage like the results you get for other people, uh -huh. and then that will justify the price point that you know you can charge a thousand dollars for or whatever you want to charge. But um, that's probably the same process you went through is like trying to get people yeah. results. Um, and I actually just made a video like about leveraging everything you do because. I think in social media in general, when you leverage things, people start to look at you as an expert. Um, so you can tr just keep leveraging everything that you do. So even the dream car is probably something that you can, you've been leveraging to kind of get more people to look at your course, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy, you know, like you still kind of don't feel like people know who you are, but then you're out there online and people are like, oh, I know who you are. And I'm yeah. Like, cool. Yeah, exactly. So you kind of like don't even realize that as you're leveraging and putting out content like that, that, that people are seeing it and it's showing up, you know, and, yeah. and your, name, your name's building. Exactly. It's weird because like people will add me from YouTube. I'm just like, how do you like yeah. find my Facebook? But then I'm just like, okay, just search <laughs> Jelani on, on Facebook and it's pretty much there. But it's just cool to see like, people connecting and trying to find out more information about what we're talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, really, like, just put content out there, and, like, it's just fun to see what happens. Right, exactly. So when you're talking about YouTube, and, you know, you said you got your channel, it got, I guess, taken down by YouTube because whatever. But how were you able to grow it? Like, what were you doing? Like, what strategies were you doing for YouTube? Uh, I mean, so just tons of, of SEO stuff. Like yeah. really, so I was, I mean, I, I don't know how much you talk about SEO or whatnot, but putting out a video every day or two and, you know, using, I think, I don't know what ended up getting my bad account banned, honestly, because I was doing all kinds of things like Half Shady, yeah. like Money Robot and yeah. buying views and all kinds of things to kind of quickly shoot up in rankings and I'd get a lot of followers that way. And, right. um, and then I used an Instagram account that I was building at the same time and I would promote the videos on Instagram. Hmm. Interesting. So now that you're getting back to YouTube, are you going to start doing a video a day or like video Man, every I, other day? I, I thought I was, but it's like so much harder to do a video a day <laughs> than I thought it would be. You know, it's, it it's really so is. Into a video. <laughs> yeah, no, it really, really is. So I've been doing, I, do you know who Miles Beckler is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he has this thing. I don't know. You probably know, but like he has this thing where you do a, a video a day for 90 days. Um, and I've been doing it. I've been taking that challenge. It's been really hard, but I've created a yeah. system. Like I create a video. So like this video won't go out until tomorrow. So like I'm, I record tomorrow's video today, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So like it like speeds up like the process of it. But anyway, it is very hard. So he doesn't have you batch videos, like do like five or 10 at once. He just has you actually make one a day. Um, I mean, that's a process, like, you could do that, like, you can take that out a Sunday and just film, like, 10 videos, um, but mm -hmm. for me, like, I'm pretty busy on the weekends, so I just do it that way, just, like, film a video a day. It's probably better to honestly just batch them out. Yeah, it's interesting. I'd, like, I mean, that could work for me, because I, I kind of, like, dread the batch video sessions, you know, like, uh, yeah. like five hours of filming, and then, like, yeah. I put it off, because I just don't want to film that long. Exactly. So, like, it, it, it kind of becomes, like, a job when you have to do, the, the, like, that yeah. many hours. Yeah, you're right. And then once it becomes a job, it kind of becomes less appealing. Yeah. If that Did makes you end sense. up getting a VA like to to 
do a lot of the no the, i do right now stuff. currently right now i'm doing everything on my own <laughs> um yeah, so I I don't do like a lot of editing though. The only thing I really do is I just add an intro outro and add like a little um, like subscribe now type of thing, and uh, that's pretty much it. And I, I have a really fast computer, so they render pretty quickly. Um, but it's it's been okay so far. I'm like hoping I can get through this challenge. <laughs> I've been doing it for a month now, so. But the thing working. is, it's working, and that's the that brings back it's to my numbers. point. Yeah, th it brings back to my point is like. With anything you do, you have to be consistent, and you know you kind of just have to follow through. Um, and I feel like that's like the same thing that you went through with your affiliate marketing. When in the beginning stages, promoting ClickFunnels, you said that you were str struggling essentially because you were losing money, but you persevered and you went through it. So I think that's just an important part point to to make is if you're starting out, persevere, keep going, right? Yeah, I don't think anyone succeeds the first time. Like yeah, no one. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so you got this course. What 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 are you? What are people expecting in this course? Because honestly, I haven't purchased it yet, but I've heard great things. So I am going to purchase it. Purchase it very soon. So anyone who's listening, I don't really purchase that many courses, and Spencer's course is one that I am going to purchase just because of what I've heard about it. <laughs> um, so can you just give the audience like what is in the course like just I guess a rundown of what they're going to learn because there's not a lot of people teaching what Spencer is teaching so yeah yeah so it, it starts it starts basically kind of takes a step back and just teaches you like how to do affiliate marketing right because there's so many people out there that are kind of just spamming the internet with links praying good things happen you know so it, right. it takes a step back and like sets up a good like just how to be an affiliate marketer that's long-term successful um, and then I had a section that's like, it's, I call it just ClickFunnel specifics because the ClickFunnels affiliate program super cool. It's got all kinds of like cool things that really only pertain to it, um, that, that help you as an affiliate. So I have a section that's like, here's some cool ways to promote ClickFunnels that only work on ClickFunnels. Yeah. Um, and then I go into just different marketing. So I've got Instagram, uh, solo ads, AdWords, and YouTube. And I just showed basically how to do marketing on those four channels, um, because really, like my my theory of affiliate marketing is, you just need traffic. You need a sales funnel that you know captures their email and sends them to your first product, and then you need a bunch of products that you can promote via email for the next right. lifetime. Exactly. And that's affiliate marketing, like in a little shell, right? So I just teach them like the individual sections of that, um, with traffic kind of being the big one that piles into everything, um, and it and it works so well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, again, guys. I, I'll put a link down below, um, but you want to get this course. If, if you can get any course, I would recommend this one. Um, you have a Chrome extension, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I Honestly, I've played around with it a little bit, but I want to kind of get more insight, like why did you create this Chrome extension and kind of explain to the people like what it is because there's not a lot of people who are creating Chrome extensions the way you did yours. So. I kind of want to hi highlight that because it's something that's really cool. Um, I'm trying to think. So I'm I'm getting these affiliate signups right, and I'm losing a lot of them. So they sign up for ClickFunnels, and then a week or two later, you know, they, they end up just leaving. And the reason mainly being because they just don't get it. You know, yeah. it's just they, they play around a little bit, and through either they're not motivated or they just can't understand the platform, so they leave. So I started to like email each one of them every time they'd come in. Like right as they'd come in, I'd send them an email like, "Hey, let me help you out. You know, whatever you're confused about, just ask me. We'll get on a video call and I'll help you." Yeah. And that really helped, but it also took like half my life to be like constantly emailing all these new trials. And so, right. Uh, I just posted on like a bunch of Facebook groups like, "Can someone develop me something?" And like I didn't really know what I wanted or how it would be done, but um, a guy reached out and said, "Yeah, my team can do it." I think it was like eight hundred bucks. He's like, I'll just make a little Chrome extension. It'll take all of your affiliates. It'll take their email address and basically get them into an email autoresponder that you can start, you know, sending them emails. Uh, so I did that, and then like a couple months later, people started to hear about it, and everyone's like, "Give it to me, give it to me," and I was like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> so yeah. start handing it out, and then I was like, "Hey, this is valuable. I'm going to start." You know, I created a sales funnel and made it a free offer on the beginning of a sales funnel, um, and and that started working really well as well. So you're promoting, if I get this right, you're promoting the Chrome extension as like essentially like a tripwire or like something just free so they can get into your funnel? 
Yeah, so the funnel is, I give them, I don't know if you've seen the funnel, it's I give them the Chrome extension for free, so it's very geared at ClickFunnels affiliates, and then it's got um, a, a tripwire, I'm not sure what you'd call it, the first offer, a $37 offer with an order bump where I give them all of the email series that I email out to people, and then I offer them uh, a little white label ClickFunnels course that they can give to their to their affiliate signups to help them, you know, stick right. around ClickFunnels. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of the front end offer, and my course is the is the back end offer. Nice, nice. That's that's really cool. Um, I yeah, like, it just kind of grows as you go, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I like that because it's something that a lot of, like if you're promoting ClickFunnels, you actually probably need this tool. So give it out for free, and then get people in the back. Like makes total yeah. sense. It makes total sense. Also, that's amazing. Um, I don't. Do you have anything else that I want to talk about? I think we covered pretty much everything. Um, you have a group, right? Yeah, yeah right. in that group, uh, you can throw a link down there as well. It's called Automation Nation, just focused on like passive income te techniques. Cool. All right, cool. So I'll have a link to Spencer's course down below, also his group, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much, Spencer, for being here. Thank you for uh, shedding some light on what you're doing, promoting ClickFunnels, how you're doing it with different uh, avenues and traffic sources. I really appreciate your time. Um, again, guys, if you haven't looked at Spencer's course or even seen his course, I'll have a link to his um, funnel so you can grab his Chrome extension. But look at the course because it's really something that a lot of people aren't teaching, and I think it's one of the better courses on the market right now. Um, so thank you guys for watching this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe because I got some cool people coming on this channel um, like Spencer. So again, Spencer, thank you. Uh, you have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I mean, that's like my big thing is just stick with it because I, I really believe that anyone that sticks with something will eventually succeed at it and it's be anything's better than 45 years at a 9 to 5 job. So. Ab absolutely. I totally agree. Well, thank you, brother, for coming on. I really appreciate yeah. it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.